The longer you're in business, the more intellectual property your business produces and the greater the value of that property. Things like your business name, logo, slogan and product names are how people recognize your business in the marketplace. The reputation that's associated with these different brand elements are why people transact business with you. For that reason, it's important to take steps to protect these identifiers of your brand and that is why the government of Uganda put in place the Uganda Registration Services Bureau. USP was originally a department under the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. And in 1994, under the Civil Service Reform, a report was made recommending USP to be made semi-autonomous to empower it to address the private sector needs in a more appropriate way. Subsequently, a law was passed in 1998 establishing the Uganda Registration Services Bureau. We are also responsible for registration of marriages in Uganda. We are the National Intellectual Property Office and responsible for registration of patents, copyright, industrial designs, trademarks. The 2014 figures from the Uganda Bureau of Statistics indicate that the informal sector is the fastest growing sector in Uganda, accounting for at least 43% of the total economy. However, the mandate and existence of the URSB is to correct the situation by offering the simplest, affordable, and easily available registration services for everyone. For us as URSB, we have put in uh, structures to ensure that registration process takes place. We encourage the business community to formalize their businesses because you exist legally. You have a registration certificate. You can transact. You can enter into contracts. You can protect your brand name, whether a trademark or a company name, for your goods and services. Some of the things that have benefited from my business being registered is that with uh, Imel Ankulu being registered, I can easily walk in a bank and ask for a loan and definitely when I'm asked for the papers, my business is checked and it's already registered. The other advantage is that I can easily get a tender if it's advertised maybe in papers. Let's say it's a hotel and they want someone who can do their laundry, I can easily go and bid for it because my company is also registered. Services have also been brought closer to the people in different areas like Gulu, Mbarara, Arua, Mbale and offices in the heart of Kampala, particularly on Kampala Road, Lumumba Avenue and Nachivubo Muse. The Arua office not only serves the Arua region, it actually serves all the eight districts in the West Nile region. These include Arua, Ajumani, Moyo, Koboko, Maracha, Nebi, Paida and Zombo. So basically we cover a wider area than just Arua. In the Arua Hill Division alone, uh, we have about uh, 300 businesses that are registered, uh, picking from last year's records uh, ever since uh, URSB came on board. Uh, with desensitization, increased desensitization, many people are coming to appreciate the importance of registering their businesses. Actually, we hope by the time we complete the assessment for this year, Main businesses, if not all, are going to be registered. Ever since URSB came to Arua, it became easier to register a company. And when I registered, I have benefited a lot, like securing loans because certifying documents, it became easier to do it here in Arua. So it has expanded my business and it made my business and my life easy and operating it. Oh, Kuvarena registering an AURSB. Nafuna mwenja ulo mbiznesi. Naringa nkola na inga sifuna mtu wa mpatenda. Boku vanga siri registered. Nyo Kuvarena registering an AURSB. Nyo Kuvarena registering an
Frontier from 5 billion about one or two years ago to a situation where we are now talking of 23 billion. And we are growing. The more service we, we offer, the more revenue we collect from the government. That's one. I gave you an example of registering the company. Now talking of just few days instead of months to register a company. What does that mean? It will mean a would be investor, particularly from outside this country, would head to Uganda because Uganda now is attractive. You can register a business in a matter of few hours. Number two, we see Kuchigambo Chokwe Wandis and Okwandis are businesses as a way. Chidi Mob Zubu Wundino, Abala Tetibaula, Uganda Registration Service Bureau, ne Uganda Revenue Authority, Ambaro was anti Chimu, Naye in Nakuzin to Benda to Funamo, a Missomo, Gaba Uganda Revenue Authority, Vega Senava, Local Authority, Gakesisa, Neva Quatagana, Navigation Service Bureau, Okurabanti, a Vin Trevio, or Putia Quab and Quabamu, Kubera Kusavo, Kudibam. Nebi Buzo Vivalina, Wakati Wa, when you want a registration service bureau, this over could the warm. After registering, if you walk to any of bank to expand your business, you will get a loan. And to get a loan, you must register. And after registering, it is very smooth and it is very easy to get a loan from bank and to expand your business. Is the private sector benefiting from URSP? The answer is yes, because they are sensitizing the private sector on why it's important for them to become formal, to register their businesses, but also to help them do it faster. Today, you walk into URSB, you are served within less than two days. As Mbale Regional Office, Mbale is neighbored by over 23 districts. And you see that most of these districts, the different districts, have to go, had to go to the head office to carry out or get these services from Kampala. But recently when the regional office opened, most of these districts are thankful and grateful that we're in Bali. And actually, our revenues have gone up. And uh, the opinion of the people is that we took long to come here, which we think we are here at the right time. And uh, business is really moving on well. The business community of Gulu is committed uh, in registering their businesses. And this we have seen in the trends of events in the last weeks that we have been handling business registrations. We have seen numbers in terms of people seeking same registration services, either companies or business names, and people who seek information on how to register, that is fees, procedures, of how to register their businesses. Women have benefited from being included in the URSB services because they're able to access uh, uh, government procurement and disposal services. They're able to access financial services. They're also able to fulfill the regulatory requirements for organizations, national organizations like the Uganda Revenue Authority. So this uh, inclusion has really helped uh, them to scale their businesses and do business properly in, in the country. Before registration, uh, the, my partners, my business, especially organizations, were not very comfortable working with me. Uh, but now after registration, uh, because I can issue uh, an invoice and they are very comfortable working with me, especially organizations like uh, uh, like universities? Before the Bureau was decentralized to Mbale, it was very, very difficult to have our businesses registered because it was very expensive for people to travel 240 kilometers to go to Kampala and register businesses. So they were giving so many excuses because of that. We are willing to register, but where? We don't have facilitation to go to Kampala and register. And we are grateful that the Bureau decentralized. They are now going the region. Bali being one of the regions, we have the offices around now. There are no excuses. We've seen a lot of progress and a lot of development in the area of business and civil registration. Initially, we had uh, a huge number of people visiting these premises. They would have to deal with a very 
bureaucratic and complicated process. The processes were extremely slow. Getting information, searching for files was very, very difficult. So working with the Uganda Registration Services Bureau, we tried to simplify the processes and make them as user-friendly as possible. It has been easy for us now that the U.S. base is here compared to the past when they were in Kampala. So when we find a business that is not registered, when we want to give them license, it is easy for us to direct them where they are and people have found it easy to register their businesses. The regional office has uh, helped us much, uh, much more. The regional office of Umbara, we have, uh, now we are able to get our documents very fast, unlike in the past when you could not even access the offices in Kampala. You'd go to register a business, and you spend through two, three days without even success. But now, only a few hours. Two or three hours you have, you have a document. For the time I've been in the region, I'm proud to mention that something has been done visible within the region of strength and partnership with the region. This I'm proud to mention that the district leadership is in consonant with us with whatever we do and they are proud to associate themselves with us. As a local government, uh, we receive various fundings from the government and even donors, and we are required to utilize these funds appropriately. For, for instance, if it is for projects, we are supposed to engage um, providers or contractors who are recognized, who are legal. So the first uh, measure for ensuring that you're legal is to see that you're registered. But because URSB is now near here, at least we are aware that they are comfortable. The services take a little time, a day or two, to have the documentation done. And also, as Guru District Local Government, we are, it's one of the conditions that the companies should be registered before they can be engaged. Ugandans have started feeling the reach of the services URSB offers. Far from what was before, it's now a thing of the past to hire a lawyer to register for you your business because all the processes and procedures have been made easy and user-friendly. I registered my business name with Uganda Registration Service Bureau in Imbarara. Uh, it has helped me for easy identification in Imbarara town. So anyone can easily allocate me or get me. I've been able to get loans and overdrafts in bank. But it's one of the requirements to be registered to get such benefits. As a government, we are committed to bringing as many people as many people and businesses into the formal, formal sector as possible. And to do this, as government would like to ensure that the Uganda Registration Services reach, reaches every corner of Uganda so that we for, afford every Ugandan opportunity to enter the formal economy and uh, legalize their business transactions. As a Registrar General, my promise to Ugandans is at the end of it all, it doesn't matter what automation we do, it doesn't matter how beautiful our offices look, what matters most is the contribution we shall have made in people's lives. What matters most is to ensure that a person is able to take the child to school, a person is able to open a bank account seamlessly, a person is able to account for the businesses they are doing, a person is able to see meaningful change in their lives. It is possible and we shall do it. Mm -hmm.